matchup here for Gindy. Two decks that we have not got to see very much of. So for Murphy, he's on your left. Gindy is on your right. Charles Gindy, another former Pro Tour champion here in Florida. And it looks like he's just resolved a supreme verdict as we head back over Murphy's way. Life totals, well, they're not very low for Gindy. So if that's the case, I think things are probably looking pretty good here for Charles. Now, it looks like Ian may have done something, may have seen the card beneath yeah, I actually looked at an extra card, so. It appears that Murphy is on E right now. No cards in hand and no creatures in play post Supreme Verdict. No Muta Vaults. Gindy sitting on a hand with at least a Lightning Bolt. And a lot of cards. And up a game. Yeah. There are worse spots to be in, I would say, for the Pro Tour Hollywood champion. Murphy will draw his card. He'll just pass the turn back. Gindy going to quickly untap and draw here. Yeah, Gindy has, oh boy. Snap to me. Yeah, one of your favorites. Here is the Harbinger of the Tides. That's and nice. The Souls. That's nice. Yeah. And now here is some sort of Merfolk. I think it's a Regery. Well, that's, I mean, it's going to die along with the Harbinger. Gindy going to Lightning Helix. Harbinger Tides. And now Gindy will draw. Oh, and a Hiri. Mm -hmm. That's a good magic card. Not going to play it yet. Yeah, Gindy just playing all defense here before deploying the Planeswalker. He's only got one red source of mana right now, so I think he'd prefer to just cast a Lightning Bolt this turn. I ain't got no source of red mana here Cryptic, maybe in a second. Cryptic Command. <laughs> 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 got a counter and draw with Charlie. Snap. The Lightning Bolt. One man is sort of being able to Snapcaster the Lightning Bolt. Yes, yes. I think now we're going to probably see Nahiri. Oh, no, he's drawn Evercool. Here's Nahiri. I think he'll be okay. Yeah. He will draw, he will discard, then draw from the Hiri, shuffle an Emrakul. And I think how we know how this song and dance kind of ends here. Yep. Especially against an opponent with nothing going on. I mean, Ian's drawn pretty well on the balance. Post Supreme Verdict. Three spells in a row, but Gindy just so many extra resources here. Celestial Colonnade, and we're going to pass the turn back over to Ian Murphy, who will draw. What do we have here? Lord of Atlantis. Indy will untap. He'll draw. Steam vents. Going to plus Nahiri. Discard a flooded strand. Draw a path to exile. Play Steam vents untapped because he's got so much life to work with. Pass the turn back. How's he at 17? Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened at the early stages of this game. It looks like it got on for a long time. At various points, it looks like Murphy was probably attacking. Uh, I think it's time for uh, yikes. That thing. Trigger. Don't forget the trigger. Take 15, I suppose. Helix Snapcaster. Helix to finish off the business here. I think that'll probably take care of it. Here's Lightning Helix or Snapcaster, and that's going to do it. Charles Gindy going to win this match here over Ian Murphy. Two games to zero. Just got control. Going to burn the Merfolk alive. And for the Pro Tour Hollywood champion, he is 9-2 and two in pretty good position with the old Jeskai control deck.